So peace YouTube world, ZLI23, y'all already know, coming at y'all with another video, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man, y'all already know by now. So today's video is going to be about my personal experience of freeform locks in today's society. So, as y'all well know, you know what I'm saying, for my subscribers that have been, you know, toughening out with me for a while, um, I had the comb core locks where I twisted them. I manipulated them, and um, that's fine. That's where I was in my journey then. Even people that decide to do that now, that's okay. That's where you're at in your journey. That's fine. Follow your spirit. But after it came to a certain point, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do it all the way natural. Because I feel like freeform locks, they carry a different vibration to them than just the regular twisted locks. So, when people see my hair, they're like, wow, he's really embracing his melanin. You know what I'm saying? He's embracing the, the, the skin, the body that he's in. He's embracing the body that the source that created all of this gave to me. And there's no, there's no mess up in creation. There's, the intention in creation is perfect. So, when you look upon nature, you know what I'm saying? Even my locks, my locks is nature. You're looking upon that source or that spirit that created all of this, that created this. So in order to walk more in that spirit or more in tune with that source energy, I just try and go as natural as possible. The foods I eat, um, you know what I'm saying? How I grow my hair. Um, and just health. You know what I'm saying? Health is your wealth. And I feel like a lot of people that do free form, they're very, very, very educated. Like they're very knowledgeable. They're very wise. So um, someone who doesn't have an understanding, you know what I'm saying, of free form locks, um, or who don't, who isn't seeking knowledge and seeking truth. Um, maybe they may not understand, you know what I'm saying? I walk out in public now and I get like a lot of comments like, yo, man, your locks is five, man. How you get them like that? Whoop the whoop. And I'm just like, man, I just, just let them grow. You know what I'm saying? Don't touch them. Don't twist them. You know what I mean? Just, just, just let them be natural. Cause even like when you twist, it's like you kind of making your, your roots weak. You know what I'm saying? Twisting them. You know what I mean? Like really growing them thick. The roots are very strong. So it's like the longer they get, the more that they can actually hold. So it's just like if you just sitting there just stressing your hair all the time and you you twisting it, and then it's gonna be kind of hard for it to, you know what I'm saying, to really have that firm foundation. It's like the foundation might be kind of weak, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's when I had made the video, you know, um, how to combine locks and things like that, you know what I'm saying? Cause some of my locks were getting weak. But I don't have to worry about that with these, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are thick, these are thick locks, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that one look like a hand right there, look at that one, you know what I mean? So it's just like, um, I inspire people. Um, same thing with the women, you know what I'm saying? Where they, where they, they hair natural. Whether it be fro, freeform locks, manicure locks, anything, I always compliment y'all, always compliment y'all. And my brothers, always compliment you, always compliment them when you in person, you know what I'm saying? Because we as a people, like, we got to raise our own self-esteem. Because if we go into the American school systems and we learning, you know what I'm saying, uh, what is a standard of beauty, you know what I'm saying, for women, or what is a standard of being presentable for men, you know what I'm saying, regarding freeform locks in this society, then you're always going to be fooled. And that's going to take you away from the source energy. That's going to take you away from the most high spirit. You see what I'm saying? So in order to be in tune with the most high spirit, I recommend to break away from the society because the society is just a very capitalistic and materialistic society. So um, spirit being the opposition, well, spirit being a different element um, as opposed to physical. Right? Now, I'm a physical being, you know what I'm saying? You see nature behind me, everything is physical. But knowing that everything came out of spirit essence, an unseen essence, a darkness, everything came out of darkness. You see what I'm saying? 
everything begins from darkness and then you speak light into it to make it manifest. So knowing that I'm embracing my darkness, um, naturally I attract people who's curious. They're like, yo, why do you grow your hair that way? How do you even find that confidence with inside yourself to grow your hair that way? You know what I'm saying? Some people may look at you like, huh? Some people may be, may be looking at you like, whoa, that's peace. You know what I'm saying? But regardless of what you do in this life, it's always going to be people that's going to be for you. And you know what I'm saying? It's going to be people that's going to be against you. And that's okay. You could be the most righteous person on earth. You can have the most pure heart on earth. But it's always going to be someone that's going to throw that adverse energy. And that's fine. We use those as challenges. And challenges are what? Things and experiences that catapult us forward as, you know what I'm saying, the greatest version of as a Ourself, you know what I'm saying? As the uh, great Kim and Prince says, you know what I'm saying? The, the greatest version of ourself. Know ourself, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Like, for instance, I was just in the car the other day, you know what I'm saying, with a friend of mine. And um, I was actually in South Carolina a couple of days ago. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things going on up there in South Carolina, man. Um, you know, Charleston, the church. I was in front of the church. I did some some uh, capoeira in front of the church, you know what I'm saying, just to clear that energy because, man, you got to know yourself because it's a spiritual warfare going on, you know what I'm saying, whether you know it or not, whether you're going to participate in it or not, you a part of it, you know what I'm saying, so really you got to understand what's taking place and be socially aware, be spiritually aware, you know what I'm saying, and um, just be aware of what's going on on the planet, you know what I'm saying, um, I was in the car and I was in the passenger seat and brother had um, pulled up. He's just like, yo, how do you get your locks like that, bro? Like, that's peace, man. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, hey, just just do your thing. Let your locks do your thing. You know what I mean? And um, I feel like it's the same thing, kind of like Andre 3000 said. It's like every, every person that's a dread isn't necessarily for the cause. So some people lock just for trend. Some people lock because they see, you know what I'm saying, all these rappers doing it and they just want to look cool. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, that's cool. That's where they're at in their journey. I'm not judging them. But where I'm at in my particular journey, in my life journey, I lock my hair for spirituality. I lock my hair to let the almighty, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, source energy manifest itself through my physical self. You know what I'm saying? Um, as well as to inspire people. It's almost like, you know how people maybe have like different billboards and they just advertising or they marketing. It seems like my hair is just a natural a uh, 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 marketing uh, mechanism where I'm constantly in everybody's face like love yourself, love yourself, love yourself like this is my natural hair, why would I reject it? Why would I correct it? It's already correct you know what I'm saying? So as long as you take yourself out of this society you know what I'm saying? And realize that you gotta get into your natural mind cause you know what I'm saying? Monsanto, all these foods and things that ain't natural man Break away from the society, man. Break away. That's what I did. You know what I mean? Um, you gotta find a way to use the society, use Babylon for your benefit. So understand how to move through it, but don't be of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, just do you and be yourself. And um, I just get a lot of questions like, you know what I'm saying? Are you a Jamaican? You know what I'm saying? Are you an African? Um, I get questions, you know what I mean? Uh, how long you been growing it? Oh, I've been growing mine for about three years, eight months, three years, nine months. Whoa, your hair grow quick, Bob. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, just keep doing you, keep doing that natural self, you know what I'm saying? Because the world needs it. The world needs that life. So, um, even though I live this life for myself, first and foremost, I feel like I've come here to definitely share light. Because if you're different, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't free form the lots. If you come to this earth and you're different, it's not so much as like, whoa, like why me? It's in a sense where you're different because the world is about to shift according to your difference. Like how you think, because me, I consider myself as an old soul, an ancient soul. So I have an ancient mind in modern times. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and because I'm different and the world is so conforming, right? Because of how I'm growing my locks in America, you would think I'm from the islands or et cetera, et cetera. Nah, like I, I was born in the States, in America. 
Yeah, so that's my experience. Um, that's why I preform my locks. Um, just that confidence that come with it. And people recognize that confidence like, whoa, he's not scared to be himself. Because a lot of people are scared to be themselves. Don't be scared to be yourself. Know yourself and love yourself. You know what I'm saying? And naturally, you'll attract people into your life experience who acknowledges that, hey, you're being yourself. I respect that. How can I learn to love myself more? How can I learn to be myself more? You know what I'm saying? So keep spreading that light, you know what I'm saying? And keep preforming your locks, you know what I'm saying? If you're twisting your locks, keep twisting them. Just do whatever feels right to you. But this is what feels right to me. So this is how I express myself. This is how I express my spirit, you know what I'm saying? So. I just wanted to come at y'all with my understanding of freeform locks in today's society, natural hair in today's society. You know what I mean? Maybe let's have a discussion in the comment box. You know what I'm saying? Let me know y'all's thoughts. Don't forget to, you know what I'm saying? If you like the video, go ahead and like it for me. You know what I'm saying? So that other people can watch this and um, we can build, we can reason. You know what I'm saying? So Zaylock23, man, freeform your locks. Be free, be a free spirit, man. Walk through this life being courageous, man. Marcus Mosea Garvey said, if you got confidence in this life, you done twice already won. Walk with confidence and know yourself and people will acknowledge you and hail you up for it. You know what I'm saying? Blessed love, perfect love, guidance and protection, always and for Iva and for Iva more. Sila. Blessed love.